Hi everyone, we are into the fifth month of the year which is May and now what does May hold for you since the retrogrades have already started from the last month and we are well midst into it. So many of us could be experiencing many emotions within us and how we are going to re-strategize, recalibrate or restructure our life whether it's personal or professional is what we are I'm going to be guiding you all. The month of May for you Cancerians, well this month is wonderful. Mars, Uranus, Jupiter and the Sun all work in harmonious aspect to make things powerful and effective. Granted you have to have a good attitude you, to utilize these aspects uh, of the planets Planets are merely environmental influences. You still need to be motivated and have confidence, especially with this type of energy. Mid-month, be careful of your desires. They may be stronger than usual. Don't get misled by them. Cancer personalities normally work with feelings. This month, you could be a powerhouse of benefit. The power is there and you have a lot of feelings just motivate correctly and everything should be fine. According to the monthly overview, well, the horoscope forecasts that you could be in the mood to sow some serious wild oats. If you are, well, why not head out to the community garden and do something worth your while. Regardless of anything, by mid-month, you are going to be feeling totally excellent. You will not only look and feel good and you might just get a promotion at work. Those small details are always important in life. So examine the details personally and professionally. Your co-workers are really important to your quality of life. So thank them for all the texture that they bring out to your daily routine. They'll really appreciate that thoughtful gesture of yours. Money can be a real tricky issue. So if you're getting into any financial relationships with friends, be sure to clarify what everyone's expectations are from the project. Let loose. You have nothing but good ideas. So enjoy this burst of creativity. In regards to your love and relationship, the May monthly forecast that if you have been feeling like your romantic plans haven't been going quite the way you'd like them to of late, then it's important to do a little emotional housekeeping or introspection. Are you holding on to negative experiences from the past? What's keeping you from being able to process them and move on? Why not go to some kind of a healer that could be an art therapist, an aura specialist, a monk, a masseuse or any other person who spends their life helping others understand themselves better. So the bottom line is understand yourself better. After all, everyone needs some ins outside input sometimes. Don't be surprised if this effort leaves you feeling much better and way more romantic. Career. Experimentation is the theme for this month. Be ready for all bizarre combinations and the best thing you can do is follow your inspiration. Don't repress this amazing energy. Your choices prove enormously popular in your line of work. It's clear that a project is made or broken in all those small details. Keep that in mind. Tell your co-workers how much you appreciate them. If you want, you can communicate your, uh, your feelings with cupcakes or a little bit of get together. They'll really appreciate that thoughtful gesture of yours. Identify expectations in all new financial relationships. Cancer, your work is pure inspiration. So enjoy it and live it. In regards to your health and fitness, well, the month says that you will have a ton of energy and feel super awesome. No matter what you decide to do with it, one thing is for certain, you wouldn't be feeling so great if you hadn't been doing such a good job as working out and thus maintaining your good health. So congratulate yourself. Then recommit to what you've been doing. You could let your imagination loose when it comes to eating, cooking, sleeping or your exercise routine. 
why not add a swim in the lake before you work or get into your routine do something that is that you've never done before or a sunrise yoga and you could add all these things to your routine the entire month and you see that life takes a new meaning you don't need to spend a whole lot of money to be healthy in fact being healthy usually saves you cash yoga or a long walk will also benefit you tremendously end of the month introspect on yourself ask yourself how healthy your relationships are hopefully the answer is very if not then get to work in sorting them out so that physically and psychologically you do wonders for yourself now uh, for your best dates and for your um, stressful dates or for your romantic dates or career or finances days as usual you will have to get into my website and another thing which is very important it's of paramount importance to get your natal chart and always keep it as your personal bible because your natal chart your birth analysis actually helps you to realize what are the positives and negatives in you and then when you have your yearly charts or even when you coordinate it with these um, uh, predictions or with these forecasts that i speak about month to month you can actually calibrate it or you can structure it in accordance to what you feel within your psyche and then make your present a very powerful tool so that your future can be carved so for this don't forget your analysis don't forget to get your natal charts made and of course utilize the dates given to the maximum advantage for you Thank you.